Hello guys. Okay, so I'm starting my YouTube channel and this is gonna be my first video. So I figured what way, uh, the best way to do this would be to use my favorite colors, which are blues. So we are gonna do a Dutch pour on a 10 by 10 um, canvas and we are gonna use some of my favorite blues and we'll see how this goes. Maybe a touch of gold. We'll see how that all goes. So welcome to my channel. Um, if you guys like what you see and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then also click the little bell notification so you get notified of when I post a video. So let's get started. I'm gonna use my Artist Lock Flow White. I'm gonna show you all the colors so you guys know what it is. Um, so this is the Artist Law Flow Acrylic um, white paint. And I mix that with Floetrol and a little bit of water in this big old thing, because trust me, you use a lot of white. I also have some in a little squirt bottle like so, so I could be a little more precise. That's what I use to flood my canvas. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm also gonna use this Prussian Prussian. I think it's Prussian. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher some of these names, so be prepared. Prussian Blue Hue by Liquitex Basics. And then I'm gonna use Phthalo Blue by Artist Loft. And Brilliant Blue by Liquitex Basics. Hopefully this ring light lets you guys see. Um, turquoise Green by Academy Acrylics. We're also gonna use a little bit of this Extreme Sheen by Deco Art, and possibly a little bit of the Deco Art Metallic in 24 karat gold. Um, this is Sapphire, sorry I didn't say what color that was. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna turn off this ring light. Oh, maybe not, turn it down a little bit. Okay, so that you guys don't have too much sheen going on. So I mix these in little bottles, some of them. Some of them I just do in little cups like this. And I have lids for those, so it makes it really good if you have leftover paint, you could just pop a lid on it. Um, I believe these are two ounce, yeah. These are two ounce condiment cups. It makes a pretty, you can get a decent amount of paint in there, especially for something this little. I'm gonna have a ton of leftover, so I'll use that for something else. But let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna flood my canvas with some of this beautiful white. And um, if you guys don't know, my name is Christina. I know I have some of you guys are probably gonna be from my Facebook and my Instagram, stuff like that, so you kinda already know me, but for those of you that don't, my name is Christina Valencia. I actually just started pouring in this last month or so, only a couple couple weeks, and I am absolutely loving it. Um, I cannot draw. Well, I can't say I cannot draw. You can draw if you really put your mind to it, but um, I never felt like I was a very artistic person, but I've always loved paint and always wish I knew how to paint. So when I found this technique, I absolutely fell in love. And let me tell you, this is very, very therapeutic as well, which is really nice too. So absolutely love pour painting. And it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, well, I guess, Hold on. I was <coughs> there it is. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was like, ooh, it's coming and not coming. So you can use a spatula, you can use your fingers. I am gonna pop on some gloves because it's just easier to use your fingers sometimes. Um I would say this is easy in a sense, is what I was trying to get to before my sneeze rudely interrupted. Um, it's easy in a sense, and in a sense, it's not. Um, you kinda, kinda never know what you're gonna get, 
and when you try for a certain thing it doesn't always work out so but usually it ends up beautiful and since it's just paint if you don't like it you can just scrape the paint off and start over so I'm just going along the edges here like so wipe my hands on this little puppy pad these are great for putting underneath your paint so you can wipe your wipe your hands wipe your tools whatever works amazing okay so I got the white down I see a little bit of the canvas showing there so I'm gonna add a little bit of this if you see any um, dust pet hair your hair whatever grab it out of there while you got the chance or any like Spooge. sometimes you get little dried up pieces sometimes dust etc etc you could grab that out right now I'm gonna take my little butane torch and I'm gonna pop all the little bubbles that are on here like so I don't know if you guys can see you don't want to get super close but you definitely want to get your bubbles popped and I see some little tiny hair. So you can either use tweezers. I use tweezers sometimes, or I'll just take a little stick like so. And there's a little hair right there, and I'm just gonna get that out of there while I have the chance. I don't know where it came from. And then sometimes, like Floetrol, sometimes gets these little chunkies in it, even when you strain it. So you can grab those out right now. That's what I like to do. Get them as soon as I see them. And there we go. What is going on? There's a couple little ones right there. Okay, I think we're good. I think there's another little bubble right there. Well, maybe it's not a bubble. Maybe it's something stuck in my pipe. So those little things are gonna happen, so just be mindful of them and watch for them. Especially if you have animals in your house, so you are gonna get some, hopefully my head's not blocking my big old head. Sometimes you're gonna get little hairs and stuff like that. It's totally normal, just get them out. Like so. Tweezers work great too, and then you could just, if it makes a mark, you can just flatten it out. Okay. So with the Dutch pour, I'm gonna do a puddle right here and then we're gonna blow it out with a blow dryer. We're gonna flood around it with white and then blow the white over it. And it must be something on these gloves because now I see something else. I know, sorry, let me get that out. There's a little hair. Um, so we're gonna do a little puddle right here. I'm gonna use some of this Prusion blue hue, just a little bit because it's really dark, but I wanted a little bit of contrast. Let me grab a paper towel. So if you use these little, um, if you make these little bottles of paint, then you definitely want to wipe off the top before you start. These are little six ounce um, bottles that I just mix my Floetrol, my paint, and a little bit of water in so that I don't have to make up paint every single time that I wanna do a pour. So just a little bit like that of that color. I don't want too much of the dark, I don't think. And the cool thing is about this kind of painting is you can, I can lay two canvases down, do the same exact colors in the same exact order and you're gonna get something different every time. So whatever, you guys um feel you can do and it's going to be beautiful so this is the phalo blue by artist loft now we're going to do a little bit of this brilliant blue by liquitex basics just wipe the top off so pretty look at that beautiful blue there's that one. And now I'm going to do a little bit of this turquoise green from Academy Acrylics. 
and you guys can get um, a lot of this paint. You can get from Hobby Lobby. You can get from Michaels. Um, you can order it off Amazon. I will give you a little tip. Amazon sometimes is more expensive than what you can get it in the store. So be mindful of that. And then also um, make sure that you watch for sales at Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby because the paint goes on sale. I think it's like every other week, maybe every two weeks. Same thing with Michael's, stuff like that. Just I would watch and make sure and you could probably get a better price. I'm gonna do a tiny, tiny little dot of this dark Prussian blue right there because I wanna put a little tiny bit of gold, but I don't want it to be on top of that other metallic. Um, maybe we'll do this blue. A little bit more. This is a lot of paint for this tiny canvas, but that's okay. I just didn't want my two metallics to be on top of each other. And I think I'm just going to use my stick and just go right in the center with that gold. I just want a little bit. So, and it's so beautiful. You guys see that? It's so pretty. Okay, so I have a little bit of bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and torch those now. You don't have to um, necessarily torch the bubbles right now. You could wait until you blow it out, flood it and blow it out. But I wanted to go ahead and do that now. So now I'm gonna take my white that's in my bottle. It's the same thing as what's in my big bottle. And we are just gonna put a bunch of white around this circle. Cause we are gonna take a blow dryer and we're gonna blow this white over this. And don't worry about having too much paint. It's better to have too much paint then not enough paint because you need it to, the white is going to help this all flow and that has a lot of bubbles in it because i shook it so i'm going to pop those bubbles real quick and then we are going to get our blow dryer i was using a little blow dryer and i got the bigger blow dryer so i just got this from target it's oh i can't even remember how much it was like maybe 15 dollars. nothing too expensive but it has this attachment on it if you guys can see and you definitely want one that has the attachment you're going to get it in your paint i got it in mine last night the first time using it but you're going to want to use it on high most likely it if it's on low it's not going to have enough power you can use it on cool you can use it on warm hot whatever um so definitely if you have a blow dryer you can use that at home if not i got this one from target um also the torch i got off amazon it's a butane you just refill it right there um but where i live in southern california they will not send me butane from amazon so i have to find a place i got some at home depot and then my home depot stopped selling it so i have to find a place to get butane refill gas for it and um but they send it to you, it doesn't have butane in it. So just know that from the beginning that it doesn't have butane in it. You have to have butane to fill it up. So, okay, you guys are gonna hear this. It's gonna be loud probably, but here we go. Wish me luck. And then I like to let it sit there for a minute and just kind of do its little thing. See how some little cells are popping up right there. And if you guys can't see if you're too far away when I get done, I'll bring you down and show you a close up. I probably could have got a little more white over there, but that's okay. So just do whatever you feel and try it out and see. Um, I really just started a couple weeks ago. I'm loving it. I'm learning a lot of new things and things turn out different. So if you try to do one of these and it doesn't match exactly, which you're never going to have it match exactly, don't be disheartened by it. Just keep trying and come. you're going to come up with your own beautiful works of art. You can take um, inspiration from other people. I've actually been watching a lot of YouTube videos 
and um, just some amazing, amazing stuff out there. Here we go. We're going to blow this up. looks very very pretty see the gold cells popping up in the center and a little bit of that sapphire blue kind of coming through in the cells right here oh my gosh that's so pretty so I like the white like negative space on it um, you can do the whole canvas if you want you can take it all the way off you can take it off in just some spots if there's spots that you necessarily don't like you can also blow it out with your mouth like that oh so pretty and then I'm gonna do a little bit right here sorry if my big head's in the way okay I think I kind of like it like that I don't want to blow too much more since it did kind of go off in a lot of places, but I really like the way this turned out. Super pretty. I'm just gonna go around the edge right here where I could see a little bit of the canvas and just make sure my sides are nice and covered. There we go. Good to go there, this corner, like so. I think we're good. Check that corner. Okay. And this will change a little bit over as it sits. What I like to do is take my little palette knife and I like to run it underneath. To stop the drips because as this flows over and drips off the side it's gonna pull the paint from the top of your canvas so it's gonna change a little bit so to kind of alleviate that from happening I like to go in there scrape off all the drips so that it stops pulling pulling my paint over and changing the composition in the front so let me pull you guys down so you can see this or maybe i could just i'll do this let's go like so and you guys can see up close see all those beautiful cells gorgeous absolutely love this piece so pretty and then you can see that it goes over on the sides. Really, really pretty. Love this one. So tell me down in the comments what you guys think. If you have any opinions or just want to say hey, definitely put your comments down below. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.